Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, paprove natin yung irrationality ng square root of 2. Ano? Um, para dun sa mga nagtatanong kung ano ba yung irrational numbers, yun yung mga numbers that cannot be expressed as fractions. Ano? Well, as, uh, whereas yung rational numbers, yun naman yung mga numbers na pwede nating i-express as fractions. Ano? So, ang proof nito, yung irrationality of square root of 2, gagamit tayo ng tinatawag na proof by contradiction. Ano? So, so, sa proof by contradiction, i-assume natin na yung statement na to is false. O, babalik ta rin natin siya. Ano? Babalik ta rin natin yung statement. And then, we find contradiction somewhere. Ano? So, simulan na natin. Proof. Ano? Assume. We assume the opposite. Ano? That square root of 2 is rational. Irrational siya, pero i-assume natin siya na rational. Now, pag ang isang number is rational, sabi natin kanina, pwede natin siyang i-express as uh, fraction, ano? So, pwede natin sabihin as uh, square root of 2 can be expressed as a over b where a and b are integers. And b not equal to 0. Yung b not equal to 0, syempre kasi hindi naman tayo pwede mag-divide ng, ng, ng um, 0 to any number. No? So, meron tayong ganitong condition. And at the same time, pwede rin natin i-add na a over b. a over b in lowest terms. Ano? Okay. Okay, uh, mamaya gagamitin natin itong uh, lowest terms na ito. No? Uh, now, if we square both sides, magiging 2 equals a squared over b squared. Which means that pag minultiply natin itong b squared dito, ibig sabihin, yung multiply natin ng b squared yung both sides, magiging 2b squared equals a squared, ano? Now, ano ibig sabihin ito? Ang ibig sabihin ito, that a squared is even. Hmm, pwede naman siguro natin tanggalin ito. Ano? And therefore, a is even. Ano? Bakit kaya? So, bakit even yung a squared? Kasi ang a squared ay equal siya dito sa number na to, no? And we know that this number is a product of an integer. Remember, b is an integer. So, in-square mo yung b and then minultiply mo sa 2, ano? So, ibig sabihin, any integer naman na pag minultiply mo sa 2 ay even. So, therefore, this number, this number is even. And since this number is equal to this number, therefore, this number is also even. So, ito na yung conclusion natin na yun, ano? O, siguro maliwanag yun, ano? But, bakit a, bakit if a squared is even, a is even, di ba? So, uh, pag in-square mo ba ang even number? No? Ano bang sagot niya, di ba, even? Pag in-square mo yung odd number, odd lang siya, di ba? So, we are sure that uh, this number here, a is also even. Okay? Now, ano ang implication nito? No? If A is even, anong meron sa A? Sa A over B. If this is even, then this is odd. No? Bakit ito odd? Kasi pag even, pareho silang even, then, kinokontradict nito yung um, statement natin, yung assumption natin na 
that A over B is in lowest terms. Ano? Kasi pag even na to, even to, hindi na siya nasa, naka lowest terms because we we can both divide both the, uh, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. Ano? So therefore, B must be odd. No? So let's let's see if B is odd. No? Now, if A is even, then A must be a product of 2 times a certain integer, for example, k. No? So, pag a ay even, uh, divisible yung a by 2. Ano? So, therefore, product siya ng 2 and some certain number. Diba? So, pag sinubstitute natin yung value ng a dito sa equation na to, so, ano mangyayari? Where k is an integer. Pag sinubstitute natin to, i-rewrite natin to a squared or 2b squared is, equals, is equal to a squared pero ang, is, ang a natin ito, 2k, no? 2k squared, ano? So pag sinimplify natin, magiging 2b squared equals 4k squared, ba? Now, dividing both sides by by 2, what happens is that p squared equals 2k squared, diba? Ano ibig sabihin na to? That b squared is even, ano? Pareho sa dito. Makikita nyo yung, yung, yung pattern. Ito naman, b squared naman yung nasa kaliwa is equal to 2k squared. But 2k squared is the product of 2 and an integer. So therefore, this number is even. And since this number is equal to this number, b squared must also be even. Which means that b is also even. Ano? Ah. Pero sabi natin dito, b is odd. So may contradiction tayo. Ah. But b cannot be both odd and even, di ba? Kasi an, an, an integer can either be odd or even, hindi siya pwedeng pareho. Ano? A contradiction. So pag may contradiction ka, you know, ito yung proof by contradiction. If you have a contradiction, then your assumption must be wrong. Ano? Therefore, The assumption, which is ito, no? is false. Ano? Sabi, mali yung assumption natin. And since, pag mali yung assumption mo, ang tama nung kabaliktaran nun. Ano? At since dalawa lang naman sila, ano? rational sa irrational, therefore, therefore, so, square root of 2 is irrational. Ano? Okay? So, yan na yung proof natin. Usually, nilalagyan nyo ng QED. Or sa modern modern book, usually, nilalagyan nila ng parang square. No? Parang square na itin. Ibig sabihin, nag-prove na yung uh, we are, what we are trying to prove. Ano? Okay? So, na-prove natin that uh, square root of 2 is irrational. Okay? Parang brief, ano lang, no? Review, ano? Now, this is what we are trying to prove. Nag-assume tayo ng opposite. And then, from this assumption, uh, nag-solve tayo. And then, found, found here that there is a contradiction. Therefore, our assumption is false. And therefore, what we are trying to prove is true. Ano? So, maraming salamat. I hope I, I hope naintindihan ninyo itong proof na ito. Ano? Medyo mahirap ito, pero kung meron na kayong knowledge, ay hindi naman siguro ganun ito kahirap. Ano? Okay. So this is supposed to be a square. No? Okay. And lagyan na lang natin ng gulay. Okay? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.